Good morning, GMS. I'm Claire. And I'm Sophia. Welcome to the GMS News for the week of February 16th. Students, remember, you need to wear your mask. You need to have your nose and mouth covered at all times. This includes when talking to your friends. Thanks for your understand, understanding and cooperation. Track starts March 8th. If you are interested in joining, all paperwork and online signatures must be completed before the first practice. Any students with two MRFs on their third nine-week report card will not be eligible to participate in any extracurricular activity. The 2020-2021 GMS yearbooks are still on sale. Go to www.yearbookforever.com to order yours today. The price will be going up, so lock in these savings now. It's not too late to join the wrestling team. Any students interested can talk to Coach Welch to get more details. A quick reminder about the dress code. Remember, all pants must be standard length garments. Therefore, shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip length or longer, with or without garments underneath. Jeans must not have any kind of rips, holes, and or tears above the fingertips. Thanks for your understanding. Students ages 4 to 14 can participate in a spring flag football league taking pr place at the, high school football, at the high school for April 8th through June 6. Games are played on Sundays. Visit, double, visit indianaflagfootball.com to register. Now let's go to Top Trending and GMS Sports Update. Have a great week everybody and remember to stay safe. Hello, welcome to Top Trending where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Lily and let's get started with number three. Super Bowl 55 ended last week with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defeating the Kansas City Chiefs 31-9. Tom Brady won his seventh Super Bowl, extending his record of wins for a quarterback. He also became the first NFL quarterback to lead a team to a Super Bowl victory in both conference. Indianapolis Colts fans may still remember all the times Tom Brady knocked out the Colts of the playoffs, but it's hard to deny that he continues to be the GOAT. Number two. Britt Reed, son of Chiefs coach, had gotten in a car accident only five days before the Super Bowl. In a statement, the team confirmed that Reed had been involved in a crash, but, no, but provided no details. The crash had occurred on Interstate 435, not far from the Chiefs training facility. A vehicle ran out of gas on the freeway and the driver stopped with his flashes on and called for help from his cousins. When they arrived, they parked in front of the broke down car and Reed hit the cousin's car, injuring a four year old and left a five year old with life threatening injuries. But this was not the first time this had happened. In 2007, he had been proven guilty to gun and drug charges. After the Super Bowl, the Chiefs lost fans wonder if lost and fans wonder if it was because of the accident. What do you think? Was it the accident? Number one. At the Super Bowl, a streaker had run across the field wearing a pink leotard. He was later charged with trespassing. He had juked several security officials before getting tackled just short of the end zone. On Bavada, a, a betting app, a man had bet that there was going to be a streaker, so he sent his buddy out to the Super Bowl to streak onto the field. He made $374,000 from the bet. In the end, he bailed out his friend for $1,000. The Florida man had more rushing yards than the Chiefs had their entire game. Authorities are still investigating this silly scheme. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week. Welcome to GMS Sports, and I'm Elijah Martin. On Monday, February 15th, the GMS Swimming is at home versus Greenfield Central at 5.30 p.m. On Tuesday, February 16th, 7th and 8th grade girls basketball home versus Martinsville West at 5.30. GMS Wrestling away at Plainfield Community at 5 p.m. On Wednesday, February 17th, 7th and 8th grade girls basketball away at Southwestern starting at 5.30. GMS Swimming away at Southport Middle School at 6. On Thursday, February 18th, the GMS wrestling team is away at Center Grove Central at 5 p.m. That's all for GMS Sports.